Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to September 21st, 2019. The winners and the losers. A, B, 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 continues moving up, up to 91%. Let's see what happened. We'll go to the charts. There it is. There's the move up. We are sitting here in this area. We're at midfield exit, waiting for one more pop, and then we'll go to another exit rule to hold on to that profit. And let's go to the numbers. Here at the numbers, you'll see that Abby, 91%. $251. Now, do remember, it does not owe us any money. This is pure profit. For those of you who get into options and say options too expensive, this only is $274 trade to start, up to $5, nearly double your money. And if I go here and right click and come down to view trades, you can see the trade was executed on 9-11. So that was... Uh, 2012, that was 12 days ago, 12 days ago, and we are now looking at 100% ROI, well, we're not yet, remember, we got to wait till the, till the, it closes out, but it's getting pretty nice, all right, that said, look at this, a lot of jockeying here in the field, CBS fell back, but we're at Tau, Tau hit 18%, so let's go to Tau and see what it has to say to it about itself. Well, it's $442, and we're at 426 Yes, it came down a little bit. We were here yesterday uh, over, I don't know, whatever. But the bottom line is that we're still in the ballpark, and we are moving upfield. And no, we got 442 so let's uh, keep at it. Uh, Acti's not doing too bad. Stack is holding his own, and the uh, ATR is at 21 cents. All righty. Moving on now to uh, the next one, CBS. CBS, remember, CBS is the real tough nut to crack because of the fact is that it owes a lot of money. Uh, we fell. We're up to like 400 and something dollars yesterday. We're back to 300, but we're still in the positive zone. This gets taken out. Bottom line is we'll, we'll, we'll shave off a little bit and come right back at it when it comes right back up again. All righty. Uh, and again, I'm trying to show here that these options were all under $500. So you've got about one contract. Okay. Going on to T minus. T minus. T minus is moved as a 4%, $108. It owes the alpha account $400. $78, so it's going to be $370 to go. Let's go T minus. Ah, a little pullback. There was a dragonfly here, and now we have a we have a, 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 an inverted dragonfly, also known as a tombstone. And we'll just play it out. Remember, we don't fight the market. We just go with the flow. All right, coming down to XLK. XLK is turning out to be a little bit of a disappointment, and here's why. It only had 268 of low-hanging fruit to go after, to go off the winner's list, and this is a dead loser. So there's no way SMT is going to come back and pay me back my money. So XLK is going to do the job. Come on, XLK. That's a nice tweezer bottom there. That's a nice indication of a, re of a, of a reversal. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. Moving on to now, we're going to Monster. And Monster is here. Now, Monster was quite interesting because of the fact is Monster had a, a nice little push-up here. Remember, we're only going for 174. Monster's at 150. We need about $325 movement from this close to something in here to be able to take Monsters to the winner's circle. All right. Now we're going on to XLV. Now, XLV is one of those other low-hanging fruits. It owes $410 to a stock that was called Life, L-I-F-S, and uh, it owes $410, and XL is down to minus $17. You know, it is what it is. We go along with the flow. What can we say? All right, okay, coming down to Quad. Quad has become a little bit of a major disappointment, and that was because... Cause was cause was a decent only four nineteen and now it's costing us double that. But here's something.
this is a nice reverse uh, possible reversal. See the long tail? The long tail down means that the sellers could not continue selling before buyers came in and pushed it right back up. Um, so we'll just, you know, as motto is, go with the flow. That said, let's now move over to the Tigers League. Now, you notice we didn't have any exits on the alpha account. So coming over to Tigers, we had no, no, no uh, either either. So here at Tigers, we're going to go to our leader, which is Dominion. Dominion is running 23%. And Dominion is up here. So here we are, and uh, Dominion is in the 30 days, last 30 days of this of this uh, option. So the result is that we're going to take anything we can get, just something, shave off this 467. It's running 210, not bad, 2, 257. Come on, Dominion. And moving on now to IYR. IYR is uh, running $180 in Profit rose force 743. If I can get 200 out, of, if I can squeeze 200 out of this, dropping this to just above 500, it'd be pleasurable because uh, that would drop it on my list. Well, on my list. Now it comes to TLT. TLT is really interesting. We had a winning trade on TLT earlier, which shaved this down. I don't know whatever. I don't remember it. But now it's only 105. And TLT is $45. So come on, TLT, $60. But look at this. We have a nice, a very nice upswing of the MACD. We have an increase in stochastics. Those are two very strong signs that this just might be pushing up a little bit more. And when it does, we'll be there to take out 105 and retire TLT to the winner's circle. That said, we're now moving on to SPY. Uh, SPY is trying to recoup itself. It's $108. There's some notes back from 7, 9, 10. Uh, that's one of my codes and one of my stop points. And um, we'll go have to check that out. Sorry for the pause there. I didn't want to be coughing in your ears. All right, now, moving on to T minus. Again, T minus is that. It's, 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 it's still in that jalopy mode because we had all this jalopiness and now we're here again. This is getting a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. And now coming down to finally our big loser. And that is uh, Waba. Waba, ah, Walgreen, come on. It's only, it's, only, it's only $595, but still, you know, we follow the rules. I know the overall market took a put of it tip today so we're there all right that's it for the winners and losers for today september 21st 2019 and i thank you we're still working on this but again please visit carrie beth steiner's website and give her a kudos for supplying the picture for us and that concludes the winners and losers